made a mistake taking me, but it ain't too late. Let me go, and there's no bad blood. No bad blood. <coughs> there's more than forty years of bad blood between you and I. We got company. Keep the law. <laughs> Mr. Deputy. Look, them raiders blindsided me. Tied me up for some kind of ransom, I suppose. Guess that was paid, though, wasn't it? Now, come on. Officer in need of help. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. God damn these bastards. Get out of here before any more of them come along. Okay. There might be some things here if you want them. Might just be a hero, me. Thanks again, citizen. Hi there. Hello. Hey, boy.
Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault, the darky white. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come on. All and right. I'll tell you, you lily liver. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss! Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough! Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! I'm old Tanglefoot. I heard some screams from the basement of the gunsmith earlier. How'd you do, I can't sir? even imagine what he's got down there. Gee. You ain't paid to stand around like saloon whores. You know, How do you do? them's bad men. Sure. Real unpleasant. Old Wendell White killed a farmer over some wages. White man he was and all. And Samson Black, he shot half the county. They was both going to swing before they escaped. Fella catches him or earn himself a pile of money. That's so. Sure. Big pile of money. Hello, mister. Hey. Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh, <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg? Oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Yeah, a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. And I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, I wouldn't know what day it was. Yeah, but you... Man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. So I hear. Scores dead in Rhodes blood feud. Braithwaite and man are burned to the ground. Howdy. Hello. Looking to buy? Bye then. Hey there.
Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? <laughs> <laughs> You're dead! I'll have my eyes on you every second you're in here, thief. Sure, don't go greasing up the pages, though. Listen, you won't take all day, will you? Oh, I'm real excited to try this. Thank you. Yeah. Didn't think I'd see that today. They ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad, low. They worse than worse. Yo, it's us one for gossip. Jethro Mingle thought do? gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darkie killed a white man. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He Yo. died of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. And you call me a gossip? Anyway. How's your Tom? He's fine. Just fine. And Marlene? Still with us. Have a fine day. More talk about that boy. Don't know why we can't put it behind us. Yep, that's the word in town. Roadhog! Interesting. You got a problem? Mm -hmm. He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. Someone must have seen an Englishman. <laughs> really funny he is. <laughs> mm. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own.
You taking liberties, boy? Hey! Hey! You dirty bastard! Get this off of me! No! No! You ought to be ashamed. Stop! You'll be real sorry. Stop! Come on! Someone help! I'll tear you apart! Just get out of here, Please. you idiot. No. Yeah. Easy there. Hey, friend. Hello. How was it in town? Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have. But he died before I could, and secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well... Not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. We're right, right. So things blow over. Then I'm done with you, Black. I'm Yep. Heavens, I thought I recognized you. Hello again. Run up a tab now, have we? Bye. Hello. Thinking of going after them, are you? I'd wager you're more than up to it. No, that fella is farming the swamp, or trying to, up by Siltwater Strand. How do you He's do? a bad egg. Fancy that. I seen them coming and going here, and I never had an inkling. Partner. 
Need a drive? First, sir. Hey, stupid! What? We ain't going till you get this right. I can't, Daddy, please. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. Daddy, he's spent. Let him rest. My son ain't no quitter. Do it again, boy. <laughs> My arms are like rope. Leave it, Billy, please. He ain't trying, is all. Again, boy. <gasps> They're here for your bounty. <gasps> Come to Mama, boy. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't. 
this one. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family. Okay? It's like It's like that, is it? Get the boy out of here. You're coming with me. This could get bumpy. Johnson. Johnson. What? Just, you're real quiet back there. Most captured men, they beg or they cry or they rail against fate. Son of a bitch! Come back, you snake! Oh no, you don't! Damn! Oh lord! Look what we got here! Out of your hands now, mister! I'll do these tighter this time! How's that? So, what you got for me? Now, what was the point in all that? Could have got your neck broke prematurely. Won't be long if we're in roads. Let's oh no! This is Rhodes. You're almost shot of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Found this feller on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out in the bayou. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. I swear I'm a good man now, Sheriff. I got a son. You ran, and you kept running. 
Don't twist this any other way. Got another outlaw we're seeking. Poster will be done and in the station in no time hence. It's been some time. Welcome back from your journeys. Hello, friend. I don't mean to pry, but, uh, well, you look like something of a rough and tumble type. Just you in there, sir? Maybe another time. No worries. Just doing my job. see the bind I'm in. I need help again. Come on. Okay. Okay, fine. I know this doesn't look good, but I swear I didn't do nothing wrong. You can't stay out of trouble, can you? All right. God, Second time's yes. the charm. I can't believe it. Oh, I thought they were never coming off this time. I'd be done without you, that's for sure. I'll owe you till the end. Maybe someday I'll make it up to you. In some way. If I'm ever looking to collect, I'll just hang around the sheriff's office. I'm sure you'll show up sooner or later. Morning, Arthur. Morning. Morning, Arthur. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but 
But we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. <laughs> All right, head for Rhodes, and quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Radley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. <laughs> Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Thank you. I swear half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking of folks disappearing, have you seen that boy, Kieran, since the party for Jack? Come to think of it, no. That could be another problem. Well, he'd be a real fool to turn on us now. But I can't imagine he'd last too long on his own. Still. Well, I'll get some eyes out. See if we can track him down. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Yep. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Now get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said... It. You said your last word. Hey, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. I'll take that. What the hell? Okay, Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was. I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go.
Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <laughs> back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Wow. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Watch your mouth. Go to hell. Son of a bitch. your man bring him here dump him on the ground here i want to get a good look at this monster so he's still alive then yes you see this girl you leave her alone she killed my cousin your goddamn cousin had it coming anthony foreman i don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away. 
and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. You know my choice. All right, you. <sighs> Let's get you home. Yeah. Now get out of here. Come on now, boy. Yep. Let's go, boy. 